About 20 miles north of Naples is ancient Caserta, with its royal palace and grounds adorned with cascades and statues. The place has just been open to the public, and a tour of the gardens may well be a happy memory for the visitor. The interior of the palace, which belonged to Ferdinand IV, is richly decorated with Neapolitan marbles, priceless art treasures and costly porcelain. Most of the sculptured pieces are the works of old masters collected from all parts of the world. Caserta today is a magnificent showplace. In such a setting, it may be appropriate to introduce Miss Kate Connell, British girl champion javelin thrower, seen with her instructor, Alfred Lomerud, champion of Norway. She's demonstrating the correct preparation for the throw. run with the javelin poised, and away it goes. A magnificent flight, and a clean finish between the lines. Watch it again in slow motion, but this time there's no score, as the javelin lies flat instead of in the ground. Miss Ines' sweeting of leads shows the right way to hold the discus. Getting ready to throw, that is to throw at a distance, needs a lot of practice, as you can easily imagine. And away it goes. You want it back, Mr. Lamarud. Very well then. The discus isn't really a boomerang, but our camera saves Miss Sweeting the trouble of having to fetch it. Another throw and a beauty. Don't you think so, girls? The sport that challenges thousands of young men and women of the Soviet Union is mountain climbing. And one of their fondest dreams is to conquer the peaks of the Crimean range. But it's a strenuous, not to say a dangerous job, and it means a lot of hard training. Did we say dangerous? Well, this gives you some little idea of the risks these climbing enthusiasts run to reach their objective. It's the spirit of adventure calling to youth. And girls get as much kick out of a hazardous climb as the boys. Excelsior! And it's been grand fun. <laughs>